I think we're trying to set up something that is um, has more autonomy, um, kind of like an offshoot of royalty. Um, these people have subjects that are not of themselves, um, but it's um, second string if if um, this is where you end up. Your results. Um, are different and the tasks that you're put to are different. Um, kind of like, um, you know, uh, any, any royalty I've talked to have said that they wanted, you know, that they expressed the special, you know, like breeds, breeds of dogs are bred for certain behavioral traits that are consistent and there's a specific training method that works for them. And or, you know, within this set of um, identity, um, this is the amount of effort that leads to results, that leads to success. Um, these are the results that are possible within our culture and stuff like that. And you've always got some people that don't fit into that, no matter, uh, for whatever reason. Um, you know, there was a weird mineral in the water for a day or, you know... Um, somebody was burning the trash and you breathed something in and your kid came out different. Um, and um, there's always a benefit to having a relationship um, for people who have a tradition of a wider set of um, um, options available and um, less specific outcomes. You know, they have their core group that has more specific traits, more specific outcomes, um, you know, finer um, definition. But then they deal with people of a more various sort than um, their siblings or the descendants of the siblings of, um, you know, that were of the unions that were part of the more uh, traditional identity um, process. So, um, you know, and it allows, like, if you're a person of this sort in this place, then you have certain realities that may not work for you, and so you have this other option, and it's going to have restrictions too, but it might fit you better, or it might not. But then there, this is not the only group that's out there dealing with those those kinds of, of people. Um, it's just, um, you know, anyway. Um, but yeah, some of us live a very long time. And I guess um, the question is, what did I do with Gypsy John? And I, so I was like, well, we did this and we did that. And I was like, no, 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 no. Because no. Gypsy John died in the 1970s, shortly after he participated in the events that led to the conception of Fox Cub, and um, and then um, the new boss um, who moved to Crimea, who participated in the conception of the new boss who stayed in Turkey, who is someone you don't want to meet. Totally, if you got a problem that needs to go to the top, there, <laughs> it's 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 time to to look for other horizons. Really, seriously, because that is. Um, you know, some some serious some serious um, line breeding went into that project, and more than um, Bubba wants to make a new Dingberg um, line breeding. And um, yes, I was a participant. So anyway, but um, so anyway. I think Bubba's the father of that one. I'm not really sure. It, it gets so complex right now that it is really, really hard to figure out. And um, I'll get it sorted out in the next couple of days. That's one of the things why I like to write things down. But um, the library's gotten kind of scary again. And, um, but yeah, so we're just, we're trying to structure things in a, you know, a live structure. We're not nailing anything to a cross. We are uh, building an ecosystem.